Good morning everybody and thank you for joining me again this week for our devotion. I've got a quick verse from Job 22, verse 21. Job chapter 22, verse 21. And it says this, Agree with God and be at peace. Thereby good will come to you. Agree with God and be at peace. Thereby good will come to you. Now that's the English Standard Version, the ESV. I think the NLT and uh, NIV will say submit to God. Some of, of translations will say acquaint yourself with God or be reconciled to God. But I like this ESV version, agree with God and be at peace. How often are we trying to agree with our situation, agree with our friends, agree with the world, agree with our sin? We're trying to agree with everything to make sense of things, to make sense of life, where at the end of the day, we just need to agree with God and be at peace. You see, when we start trying to reconcile or submit or, or agree or um, uh, uh, acquaint ourselves with other things, where we, where we make our, where we affiliate ourselves with temporary things, with things that are not eternal, with mortal created things, we're not going to end up with a lasting and, and um, meaningful peace. Because things change, this world changes, our situations change, our emotions change. But God, God stays the same yesterday, today and forever. He's the same God that took uh, Adam's rib out and created Eve. He's the same God who parted the Red Sea for the Israelites. He's the same God that helped K King David or the shepherd boy David at the time slay the giant Goliath. He's the same God that raised Jesus from the dead and he's the same God who lives in us today with his Holy Spirit. He's the same. Agree with God and be at peace. Thereby good will come to you. What could? Well, five things. Number one, pardon of, pardon of sin. If we agree with God, if we submit to him, if we know that he's our saviour, we've got pardon for sin. If we have pardon for sin, number two, we have a peace of conscience. We don't have this guiltiness plaguing us all the time. We don't have to try to be good people to uh, help us feel better about our sin. Number three, we've got an assurance of everything that we need in this life. Everything that we need will be fulfilled by God. We have that assurance. He's our Jehovah Jireh. He is our provider and he will look after us. Number four, we know we've got support in trials. We know that when we go through life storms, God is there helping us. God's word is saturating our hearts. He encourages us. The Holy Spirit prays for us. And number five, we know that we have peace and triumph in death. We don't have to fear death. We know Jesus conquered the grave. And we know that death is merely a transition from this life to the next. If we have Jesus in our hearts, we know that we are going to be with him for an eternity, celebrating in his magnificence and glory when we close our eyes for the last time on this earth. Agree with God. Be at peace. Thereby, these good things will come to you. We, we are going through lots of things. Lots of things are confusing. Things that we don't want to be experiencing. Things that maybe we are experiencing and we're very comfortable with life at the moment. Even then, agree with God. Don't agree with the world. Don't agree with the situation. Don't agree with your emotions. Don't agree with your friends. Don't agree with your, your ideologies. Just agree with God. Acquaint yourselves with Him. Be reconciled to Him. Submit to Him. Know Him. Agree with Him and be at peace with Him. He's the same yesterday, today and forever. Stick with Him and you know that you will be all right. Amen. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for this beautiful word to us this morning. Thank you that it's as simple as submitting to you, agreeing with you, being reconciled to you. Thank you that you made a way for us to be reconciled to you through your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, who died for the pardon of our sins. Thank you that we don't have to find peace, we don't have to find uh, something that lasts in this world because we know we've got everything we need with you. Please forgive us where we've been looking for other things, where we've been restless, where we haven't been happy where we are in our life situations. 
Help us just to agree with you, to focus on you, and to know that you give us an everlasting peace, a peace that cannot be revoked, grace that never runs dry. Thank you for this offer that you give to us. Thank you for what you're doing in our lives. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for the mighty works that you have done. We bless you and we give you thanks. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.